Oh, I've been to do Agonite about how I don't like using the word friends. Um, oh, yeah. Friend. It's so, like, I'll use the word droog. You know, technically it's the same thing, but it, it doesn't have a negative connotation to me. Thank you. Izzy, Karina, Delden, Echo Knight, and Curry the Gun. You know, like... Yeah. A buddy came up from high school, and I was asking him about some things. I'm like, were you here and there, and what happened? And he's like, I don't remember that. And it was funny, because certain things I would remember, but he didn't, and vice versa. Yeah. And it's just funny, it's random what sticks. That hey, read, okay, Echo Knight, can you read the messages to me? Uh, oh, let's see. Actual, factual, Captain Dow. Hee hee, I see the HD cut of the whole day in about 20 to 40 minutes before I can sleep at all. Oh yeah, he's got the high definition cut. So he, before he goes to bed, um, he like watches a version of the entire day before he can go to bed. Wow. Normal people do that after they go to sleep. I mean, not that you're not normal, but you're abnormal. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm arguing semantics. All right. <laughs> Who is normal? What's normal? I mean, how do you define really normal? I'm trying to draw, like, I can't really, the sensor bar isn't registering the way I'm sitting and... Oh, are you actually drawing it with the Wii remote? The Wii remote? Yeah. I yeah. gotcha. I didn't realize that was a... I thought it was a stick. You were... Well... Diddling. Yeah, okay. I was playing with the stick. I was imagining you diddling a different stick in a different way. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. <laughs> we were not fantasizing hey. the right uh, diddle stick. Uh-huh. What? I mean, like a like a uh, stylus stick for for the Wii, like a little tablet thing for the Wii. I'm, I'm pretty, pretty sure they had those. Yeah, I I'm, I don't think that's what Aquanite's talking about. But... <laughs> yeah, I know. Like the yeah, yeah, yeah. Not 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 that stick. The uh the other stick. <laughs> oh, Leah. Can, can you describe the stick you meant, Izzy? The <laughs> <A> joystick. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's, um... <laughs> I mean, what I'm an outlier. Lesson? I can lucid dream sometimes and be like, No, I am turning this off now. Yes, yeah. the magic stick. The magic stick? <laughs> the Joy-Con. Well, to someone, it's probably magic. The Joy-Con. Kind of, Camp what you're talking about, I think, is um, related to... A lot of people nowadays with um, phones at their hands and whatever, they don't allow themselves to become bored. And so yeah. there's actually some studies out there that say that without letting yourself be bored, you're not processing things that you should be processing on your downtime. Like, yeah. there's sub processes and things that, I mean, I've had great ideas when I was bored or I'll take a sensory break and I'll just like, all right, I don't want to be on the phone. I just want to hike and I don't want to do anything else. And I just want to think. And yeah. my stepdad calls it solving the world's problems. And that's, you're solving your own problems. You're processing everything that you hadn't figured out before. Yeah. Hey, what's, the, what's this long message here? What you, you gotta read all the messages. Should, to me should I read night. it? Should I read it for you? Yeah, yeah, please. All right. But I can't. Yeah, you can't. Can't you? I mean, you can't even. That's it. All right. Yeah. For a real true story. No, that's a full colon. Full colon. I was crashing at my friend's place on the spare bed, and there was a computer desk across from me, and without my glasses, I'm like. Who uses a joystick anymore? Like a flight stick? Glasses on. Uh-oh. She left out a very different type of joystick. 
Oh, oh. Oh, it was like a flight stick. Oh, with like a suction cup or something. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> man, what is this, a sidewinder? Oh, man. It's very comfortable, though. I mean, really feels good in my hand. <laughs> oh, shit, a full strap on. Oh, oh Jesus. <laughs> Oh man, you don't want to leave that shit out. What's wrong yeah. with her? <laughs> like, at least put it in a box or something. Right, or, or at least... Or in a closet. Yeah. Like right. cupboard. Somewhere where you have to look for it to... Yeah. It's not good to have that out in the open. <laughs> Ooh. Well, I also realized I just slept in the fuck bed. Oh. Oh. Oh man. In. <laughs> so back, way back, um, I actually lived with Captain Dow for a year or two, something like that. And before then, sheets were clean. That's nice. <laughs> That's cool. You surely are clean. Did you use a black light on them? Uh oh. Never use a black light on him. <laughs> no, I used to live with a roommate, high school friend, and he was fine, but he got way into drugs. And I'm like, yo, buddy, I can't at all follow you. Where are you going? Um, but he'd bring over his stupid drug friends over, and I'd be working, and he's off work doing drugs. And I come home, and I'm informed that he had a party and one of his drug friends fucked one of the drug girls in my bed. Like, oh. thank you. Everybody get the fuck out. Oh, that's yeah. disgusting. Like, you should... Really? You picked my bed? You guys suck. You guys suck. Oh. Get out of my life. I divorced him. He, I mean, we were never married, but that's the term I used, because I'm like, get the fuck out of my life. You fucking suck. Yeah. Yeah. And a couple years, many years later, um, well, first of all, I pressed charges on him because he stole money from me. Um, oh, yeah. Damn. Forgery, petty theft. But then um, later, later, I talked to a mutual friend on Facebook. He was like, hey, what about that guy? I'm like, yeah, that guy's a fuckhole. Dick shit. I don't want to talk to him at all. He did this, this, and this, and could have landed me in jail. And so this Facebook friend talked back to this dickhead friend, and yeah, I also thief that one. Absolutely. I had um, charges against him. But he sent me a message, and he's like, I'm sorry, blah, blah, blah. You don't have to say anything or accept my apology. Or, you're just like, I just want to say I'm sorry. And I'm like, you didn't need me to reply to this? Okay, I'm not going to say anything. I ignored it. And the thing was, he owed me money. So it's like, sure, he apologized. He felt bad. He said so, but... If you felt bad, you could have paid me the money that you owed me to make it right. Yeah. Words yeah. are cheap. You must not have felt that bad if you didn't want to send me some money that was 10 years ago when we were in college, which is a lot of money, but when we're an adults and you get a career, was not a lot of money. So yeah. you could have atoned. You could have easily sent me double that and it not been a big deal, but you didn't. So yeah. fuck you. Your words are useless to me. Yeah. One hundred percent. Fuck that guy, though. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I don't give a shit to say his name on stream. Yeah. Quote quote. Capitals. I am not gonna say his name, but his nickname in high school was definitely not Pat Memmer. I mean, Matt Hammer. Fuck Matt Hammer. That douche is a bitch. Oh, I I just heard that. I thought it said half member, so half. like a short bit. He is half of a member. I think, uh, sure, <laughs> he does now. Yes, I'm sure his dick was quite small. <laughs> Asshole. 
Yeah, I know. I know. I... So, actually... Oh, I mentioned to you, Agonite, about how I don't like using the word friends. Um, oh, yeah. Friend. So, like, I'll use the word through. You know, technically, it's the same thing, but it, it doesn't have a negative connotation to me. Mm. But the word friend, to me, is an insult. It, to me, it means somebody who pretends to be all buddy-buddy with you, but just ends up, like, using you for oh, really? your money or whatever. I've yeah, had, I've had uh, friends like that. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, but, like, pretty much all my quote-unquote friends growing up, that, that's all they did. They, they didn't care. Um, you know, they would rarely invite me. Um, and when they did invite me, I ended up getting ignored or whatever. And it's just... Um, but this one person... Um, basically, she owes me over $100. But, you know, I'm never going to get that. I'm never getting that money back. Uh, and yeah, I'm really tired to try to think of trying to form my sentences and... Think about where you're going and work backwards. Yeah. Yeah. That's how I... That's how I do it. Yeah. Um, it'd be easier if I can give her a name. I don't know. Um... Captain Dow can give us a name. Give us a name. Slap! Give us a name! Give name us a name! Something. Name something! Name the bitch! <laughs> I took it, I look at it this way. It cost me this much to learn what I can't trust you. Okay, mm. Carlisle Dicksmith. Carlisle <laughs> Dicksmith. <laughs> oh, that is good though. Or is that Dick's Mouth? That's Dick's Dick. Mouth? Yeah, Dick's Mouth. mouth. Okay, yeah. Dick Mouth. Okay, so Dick Mouth, she, um... So, I, I guess I first started, uh... So, every year, uh, my granddad's... Or, granddad's uh, family heavy family to float. And, you know, I go along with them, and... We go up north, we go camping. One of the other days, we go to floating. Um, and one particular year, I got to invite Dick Mouth to go with us. We go, and, like, we go, um, Dick Mouth and I, we go on the river, just the two of us, right? And, um, it's a, like, a two-hour trip. Um, down the river, um, or supposedly a two-hour trip down the river, uh, anyways, uh, as we're going down the river, uh, there's a tree branch coming up, and I tell her to, hey, start paddling, I'll start moving the, you know, just start, you know, moving the, um, rats in that, we're, we're, you know, in tubes, and, and she, like, half ass like, paddled. I told her, no, you, 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 you gotta use your arm. You gotta, you gotta lean over a bit and you gotta, like, steer away. You gotta, you gotta push the raft away or else we're gonna crash. Yep. Well, of course, we crash. Um, I get hit in the head by the branch. I get knocked off of the, um, the, uh, two. Uh, mm. and... You know, luckily, the branch, I was able to catch it in my arm, my hand, and luckily, he was able to hold me. Um, but, like, I, I had a pair of sunglasses, I lost those. Um, yeah, I went under, I got knocked off of the, uh, raft, and I got knocked out, whatever. I didn't get knocked out, but yeah, I, I just, I, 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 anyway, I fell in the river, and I could not get back up on the raft. And she just sits there and is lays there, like what, what, what the fuck happened? And so like I'm, you know, stuck in the river. I don't have, I can't really get back on. 
So it was um So anyway, through the rest of the thing, I'm swimming in the river, pushing the raft along. And she um Oh, uh, let's see. Um, you know, I'm steering her, you know, getting her, um, making sure, the, uh, making sure she's not getting stuck in or any, anything. And she, she, she is not a light woman. She is like at least 200, 300 some pounds. Okay, so she is not light. Followed by carrying, like, pushing two different, or three rafts, or three rafts. Anyways, um, so, she, you know, I, I don't know, anyway, we, I, I pretty, I pretty much is like, I, I saved her life, basically, because, you know, I pushed the raft on down the river, the river has full of leeches and snapping turtles and all that shit, and, um, let me see here. And yeah, anyway, Mel says you needed a branch manager. Branch manager. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, anyway, we finally reached the end. I see my granddad up on like the bank, and you know he helps us out, and. She gets off the raft, she runs straight to the van, doesn't even thank me or anything. And meanwhile, like, I have to have my granddad help me out of the river, because I'm so tired at that point, I can barely stand. Um... And then, I, I don't know what happened... But, somehow, she was pissed at me, we got back to the campsite, and she... Like, goes... Home or whatever, she, like... My uncle takes her home. Apparently she's upset. I, I, I don't know what happened. I don't know if I said something, if I did. Uh, sorry, but not sorry, because uh, she's a fucking cunt. A lying, a, a lying, stealing cunt. So, after that, we, we ended our friend, our uncle friendship there. Um, but then, like, months later, we got back to the other being friends again, um, and, uh, she and I went to see a film, and we're joking about, I was making a joke about Monka Troy, and she asked, you know, asked me, uh, do you want me to go with you to a concert? Like, I was like, yeah, sure. Uh, you know, we want to go, fine with me, you know. So, we did that, so, um, the concert comes up, and, um, the day of the concert, before, uh, before the show, we go out to lunch, um, I didn't eat anything at early, that's irrelevant, but anyway, we're sitting down at KFC and I asked her, hey, um, I tell her, hey, I've been looking for a job, can you ask your boss, you know, like, you know, get a word in for me? And she goes, like, yeah, no, I, I can't really do that, like, like, okay, well then can you give me some, like, pointers or something, tell me what I need and she goes, yeah, I'll, uh, I, I, I mean, uh, well, you, you gotta wear non slip shoes. I look at her, I go... For the interview? I go, yeah, yeah. like, I'm saying, well, uh, these are non slip shoes. So she go, yeah, but, I mean, nah, like, I'm uh, like, and there I just drop, like, okay, um, kind of strange, you're not gonna help a friend get a job. You think if you're a friend, you want your friends to exceed in life and okay fine um that's not a friend interesting yeah so like it sounds really strange it's a person you know you knew that person good job yeah <laughs> <laughs>
So, anyways, come to the concert. We're standing in line that went going to the venue. And I tell her that, okay, when the show's over, I'm sticking around to meet the you know, meet the guys, meet my uncles and all that. I, I'm staying, I'm staying. I'm I'm not going home, uh, we're not leaving till either A, I see the guys, or B, that bus that bus leaves. We're 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 staying. She goes, Okay. And then she she's standing in front of me, but then she like turns around and like and like a little kid goes, Could you buy me a t shirt? And I, I look at her skeptically, like, you gonna pay me back? And she's like, oh, yeah, yeah. You see like, this little, like, hand thing where she, like, where you nod to her hand, I guess you could say? Okay, I see what you mean. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, she goes, yeah, 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 I'll, you know, so then, like, I'm like, okay, right, you're gonna pay me back, uh-huh. I go, okay, fine, I'll get your, I'll, I'll buy you a t-shirt. So, we get in there, I buy your t-shirt, and she, um, you know, like, okay, I, I bought her, it was like, ah, fucking $35, I think. Oh yeah, concert t-shirt. Yeah, but, uh, whatever, you know, buy her t-shirt. And, she, anyways, so, come to the end of the show, um, No, so we first go back to like the merch stage, um, the venue, the stage, the one of merchants at this particular venue is like a stage. You gotta like walk upstairs and it's on a platform. Um, anyway, we go there and we're, we ask the, um, we're looking for, we're looking for the band, obviously, and we overhear somebody say that they're outside and all that. Like, so like, okay, well then I'm gonna go, well, so we leave, we go outside to look for the band and we're waiting around. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then please consider leaving a like, comment, and subscribing. If you'd like to support the channel and what I do, then feel free to become a member on the Patreon for $1 a month or Buying something off of my stream elements shop. Be sure to follow me on Twitch, where I stream pretty much every day except for Mondays. I have a Discord you can use to keep up with what times I go live and all those things. Follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and VK for updates. The models on the end of the card here are Shelly DeFerno and Jean. The art is by Johnny Bush, and the music is by Roman Sermon. The night. Thank you, Izzy, Karina, Delden, Echo Knight, and Kriya the Gun.